I have a letter today from, that I'd like to put in the record from the Northeast Tarrant Tea Party. Uh, their treasurer is a gentleman that is a, has been a CPA for 40 years, and his primary uh, practice was in helping tax-exempt organizations uh, receive their 501c3 or 4. Okay, without objection. Uh, he states in his uh, testimony, which I have here, uh, that he was subjected exactly to the same uh, scrutiny that Ms. Belson was, Ms. Gerritsen, and Ms. Ms. Kinney. Uh, after 15 months, he received a questionnaire that had 110 questions in it. Uh, he states that unequivocally this was the most complicated questionnaire he'd ever received in response and very quickly ascertained that this organization was being targeted specifically because of their beliefs. Uh, they were asked questions uh, about uh, True the Vote. They were asked questions about their affiliation with training sessions. They were asked for lists of names. All of you have received very, very similar questions. So uh, uh, it is happening to all of us in all of our districts. Mm -hmm. uh, a year ago, about this time, I wrote a letter to the acting commissioner asking if this was actually going on. Uh, Mr. Uh, he wrote a letter back that said it was not, and then Mr. Joseph Grant wrote a letter back that said this was not going on. Just as recently as a few weeks ago, we questioned the acting commissioner and still said that this was not going on. When we finally pinned him down on the questions, he basically said, well, we, it actually was going on, but you didn't ask the question the right way. Mm -hmm. And basically, they had lawyered up. So since then, I'd like to walk you through uh, a little bit of what's happened. And it's happened as a result of the fact that across the nation, each one of you and each one of the groups in all of our districts have contacted their congressmen, and this committee has began uh, a year ago to act on this, on this suspicion. And what this committee has been subjected to is really a conspiracy of arrogance. When this committee swears in witnesses, we expect them to tell the truth. And when you write a letter to the IRS commissioner and he writes you a letter back and says it's not happening, you have to operate on some premise of truth. Mm -hmm. And we have been, this committee has been subjected to untrue statements. And they've been put in writing. Commissioner Shulman retired and resigned. Acting Commissioner Miller fired, then retired or resigned. Joseph Grant uh, resigned. Lois Lerner passed on. Uh, she has taken the Fifth Amendment, is now on administrative leave. And just yesterday, newly named commissioner, not yet confirmed, Werfel, his most common answer to the committee yesterday was he did not know, he was not aware, and he would have to get back to them. Now, this committee's heard a lot of that, especially from Ms. Lerner in the last year. The question I'd like to ask to each of you is, what do you think the IRS commissioner should do once this committee is successful in exposing everyone at the IRS that orchestrated this policy? Mr. Kay. I think it's conjecture. I don't think it's appropriate for me to determine what the IRS commissioner should do. I can only speak for what I would like to see done with regard to the whole matter, and that is to get to the truth. And if there is criminal activity, that we have the moral courage to pursue it and not merely to politicize it and say, okay, we'll just apologize. Because we as taxpayers, if we fail to pay our taxes, we get criminal penalties. And so it's not acceptable for the IRS to just say, oh, I'm sorry. 
Um, I feel like... I'm going to have to ask everyone to answer very briefly because we're out of